yung yung mm-hmm. initial na tiningnan natin hindi pa naman siya technical cut no kasi mayroon pang if it goes back to the box box previous box stop you're just down 2%. Parang pwede mo na siya sagarin. Na mag-box breakdown. Pero ito yung nangyari. Nagkaroon ng run-up. Uh, now, there's this, ano, there's, ito rin napansin ko, parang sometimes, you're hesitating to take profit. Kung baka parang, merong TP resistance na let's say TP1 or TP2. Pero, di na maana, pero ayaw po mag-sell. Hmm. Madalas ang ngayari ito, di ba? Yeah, oo. Oh, it okay. So, siguro Marga, ganito gawin natin. Ganito gawin natin. Pero before I before I tell, may recommendation. Uh, how comfortable, what's your comfortable allocation sa isang entry? In terms of money? Or in terms, in terms of, of percentage? Percentage? Um, nakikita ko yung mga 25%. Kasi kapag more than 30 or 40, parang hesitate to sell it. Why? More or less parang, parang you're betting on it na akyat siya. <laughs> Okay, sige. So, kung 25%, sabihin natin your portfolio is... So, 25% is only... Tama. So, <laughs> let's let's use yung ano, um, money psychology, no? Ano yung peso value amount na willing kang italo sa isang trade? Hu- huwag mong tingnan yung port mo. Focus on just the money. Ano yung willing kang italo, mga nasa magkano? Itong trade... As a value, ah. regardless of how big or how small your allo- your portfolio is, maybe let's let's relate it. Let's relate to your current portfolio, which is uh, so it is two point five percent, diba? Two point five percent. So, pwede mo lakahan yung bar mo actually, kasi ano eh. Alam ko naman na alam mo na right now, feeling ko, you're just playing small. Oh. Kasi it's not something that, it's not something na, it's not a, hindi siya yung amount na tingin mo can make you a full-time trader. Yeah. Diba? yeah. Alam natin yun. ba? Diba? So, alam mo rin to kasi your 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 offsite broker eh. and alam mo na malaki talaga ang kitaan sa market just by mm-hmm. using percentage mo. so normal na pwedeng ka kumita ng 5% on a single trade pwedeng ka rin kumita ng 10% on a single trade so sabihin natin that's only 10% and i know for a fact that you want to become a full-time trader. So, kung mga parang nasa mindset mo right now, is parang, ah, oh, sige, uh, I just, I will just play a small portfolio until such time, I would, until such time na maging, madu- do- madoble ko yung pera ko, something like that. Kanya ba yung initial goal mo sa sarili mo, dito sa portfolio mo? More or less, hindi naman. More or less, ano, um, I want na makita na consistent yung uh, trading ko before I enter more money to Okay. So, consistency yung habol. Okay. Oo. And probably so, bring it back to the uh, to the break even. Kayang-kaya. Kayang-kaya, Marga. Kayang-kaya. <laughs> Napakadali. Okay. So, sige. Um, ready ka na ba? Ready ka na ba sa mga yeah. advice na bibigay ko sa'yo? Kasi actually, very ba- very basic yung... I mean, skills-wise, marunong ka. The, 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 the challenge with you is sometimes you're second-guessing yourself. So, bakit kaya second-guessing? Siguro, number one, lack of confidence. Bakit may lack of confidence? 
Kasi nga talo eh. Maraming talo kaysa sa panalo. At the same time, the performance is still negative. So kung mga parang it affects your ano, it affects your psyche and your mindset. So ano yung ano yung pwedeng way na pwede natin gawin diyan? Ano kaya yung way? Ito another question pa lang. Pansin ko puros momentum yung tinitreat mo. Oh. <laughs> okay, so puros momentum yung tinitreat mo. Pero there are certain momentum setups na hinahawakan mo for 30 days, 10 days, di ba? So medyo hindi congruent. There's no congruency with your ano no. Kasi, di ba ang definition natin ng momentum trade? Ang momentum trade is 0 to 5 days. Siguro pwedeng gawin, pwede natin gawing strategy before we go to allocation is why not focus on being a 3% trader first? What? Be a consistently 3% trader. Trader. Uh, Kumita ka na 3% beta na. Okay. 3%. Pero ito tanong, happy, happy ka ba sa 3%? Uh, hindi, <laughs> hindi, di Hindi, di ba? Oo, oh, oh, hindi. <laughs> so, so ganito. Ganito pwede mo gawin, Marka. Aim first for 5%. For 5%, okay. 5, 5%. 5% ang aim mo. Yeah. So, madaling i-achieve yan eh kasi... Uh, you're just selling an objective. So, kunwari, you, you have this setup. Like, for example, yung nangyari kay Nickel kanina. Uh, box breakout siya. Tapos, it attempted to break, it, it tested TP1 of that bigger box. No? So, you can just, ano, you can just be a sell an objective trader. Huwag ka nang umasa na akat, akit pa. So, okay. pwede mong, pwede mo laruin na parang either 5% or umabot ako sa isang TP, magbebenta na ako. Okay. Focus on that first. Focus on that. Paano yung allocation? Ayan. Ayan. Yan yung next. Yan yung next. So in terms of allocation, i-share ko, i-share ko yung iPad ko. Okay. So, ang, ang, ang challenge mo right now, Marga, is basically two things niya. So, sige. Uh, challenges. Okay. These are your challenges, no? So, una sa lahat, uh, yung challenges mo right now actually is number one, syempre allocation. Okay. Pero secondary lang to. Actually, challenge mo is when to sell. This is one of your biggest challenge, no? Kasi, yung, yung when and where to buy. Nakita mo to, di ba? Nakita mo to. When to enter and when to enter and where to enter. Yeah. Alam mo precision entries. The challenge is this. This one. When to sell. So, pumapasok kasi sa'yo dito is tataas pa. Hmm. So, which is basically greed. At the same time, I know for a fact that you're busy. Okay? So, meron kang challenge that because you are you are a what? You are a off-site broker. So, ang priority mo is to execute clients orders. Okay? So, ito yung priority mo. meetings ako. Usually, Yun. meetings actually during trading. Ah, may meetings ka. So, meetings. Mm-hmm. Okay. Meetings yung challenge no. So dapat dito ang ang ang, ang mga pre, ang, ang mga preemptive measures natin dito is number one. You have to set a minimum target price. So napag-usapan na natin to. This can range from 3 to 5%. Number two, sell on objective. Okay? This can be a previews resistance okay a box tp tp1 or tp2 so you have to sell an objective kasi kung tinitingnan ko yung mga sales mo some of your sales are not not based on objective eh. di ba so yeah. kailangan natin lagyan to kailangan natin lagyan ng sell on objective mo so how can you achieve this how can you achieve this so dapat meron kang alerts Kasi challenge ka dito eh. 
So, mer- are you using Invest Alerts? Uh, before. Pero ngayon, I'm not using. Bakit? Kasi may bayad. Uh, yung first one naman, may bayad yun eh. Oh, bakit ngayon? Hindi na. Uh, I guess, <laughs> nagdamad na rin akong maglagay sa alerts. <laughs> ano, ano, ano yan? Natamad rin ako maglagay sa alerts. Ayun. So, kung maga parang yung yung working before trading na wala. Okay. So, mabilis lang naman mag-review eh. Diba? Mabilis lang naman maggawa ng trade plan. So, kahapon, like for example ako, I have nickel, I have ABS. Tapos, sabi ko, oh, sige, si ABS, ceiling play. So, eh, kailangan ko mag-sell the following day. So, nag-set na ako ng targets. Ang target ko was actually around 15.70 until 16.50. So, saan ako nagbenta? 16. Kay Nickel, sabi ko, oh, titignan ko mag-break out sa 340. Kung mag-break out siya sa 340, titignan ko kung anong reaction niya sa 360. So, kung baka parang meron na akong mental note sa sarili ko na, oh, titignan ko lang yung ano ko, titingnan ko lang yung yung price ng nickel. O kapag tinamaan yung 360, nag-break out. O sige, tingnan natin kung hanggang saan. Tapos nagkaroon ng rejection, di ba? So nakita ko na it's trying to break down sa 360. Nagbenta lang sa 360. Okay? So, yun yung ano. Kung mga parang hindi naman kailangan na parang you have to plan for one hour. Parang kahit 30 minutes lang, you just put mental notes. You just put mental notes. So right now, ano yung mga, ano yung mga place ngayon sa market? So, number one, si Dito, pabagsak. So, there's a potential bounce play. Hmm. Number two, si Now. Uh, day, day, ano nga yun? Day two. So, bukas ang bentahan. Hmm. Diba? So, kumbaga parang, you just have to focus on the main place. Focus on the main place. Which, which nakikita ko naman, na you're focusing on the main place. However, there are certain trades na medyo kamutulo. Your gold. APX, APVI. Right now, the goal is for you to have confidence. The goal for you is to have confidence now. So, base base dito sa assessment ko, try natin to. Try natin to. Set, set minimum targets 3 to 5%. Or sell on objective kapag nagkaroon ng overshoot. Tapos, use alerts. Alam mo nang busy ka sa umagin. <laughs> Ah. Okay. Oh, okay. So, yun. Yan yun, yan yun, yan yung assessment ko no. Tapos dito sa ano, dito sa allocation, very simple lang to. Very simple lang to sa allocation. Kasi right now your portfolio is around Okay. So sabi mo you're willing to lose. So dito lumalabas 2.5% yung bar mo. So if 2.5% yung bar mo, even if you allocate tapos 3% risk. Pasok pa rin siya sa bar mo. Pasok na pasok. So, dapat yung market lagi kang 50% allocation. Lagi ka dapat 50%. Minimum 50%. So, dapat parang 2 stocks lang ako. Every actually, year. Dapat, actually, dapat isa nga lang. Isa lang. Actually, ako ah, kung ako tatanong mo personally, sa itong size na to, lagi akong all-in. Mm-hmm. Lagi akong all-in. Pero siyempre, ako yun. Okay? So, hindi ko sinasabi mas magaling ako sa iyo or what no. But siyempre, nasanay ka sa 25 to 33% na allocation. Which is still a conviction entry. Pero dapat ito, dapat nandito ka sa 50% to 67% allocation. Tapos try to enter one tranche lang. One tranche lang. Para hindi na tumas yung average mo. So, kaya important yung alerts kasi kung mara, box breakout. Mara ito. 1% pa lang yan. Bili ka na. So, kung bumababa niyan with commissions, 3% lang. So, pasok pa rin. But the challenge here is, ang magiging profile mo is a high-frequency trader. Ito lang yung drawdown dito sa strategy na to. Magiging high-frequency trader ka. Kasi, bakit, bakit high-frequency trader? You have a 3 to 5% gain mindset. So, roll lang ng roll yan. Roll lang ng roll. At the same time, kung talaga maganda yung setup, TP1 or TP2. 
So, kung baga parang nangyayari dito, parang kang chupetero. Literal na chupetero na ito lang yung target mo. So, saan po? Break even ka na. Diba? Does it make sense? Does it make sense? It, it makes sense. So, so, ito yung pwede mong gawin strategy. And there's nothing wrong to be a 3 to 5% trader for now. Kasi you want to build your confidence up. Mm-hmm. 